Hi, this is Joseph Lamery. I'm going to record a quick screencast this evening on installing Nginx on Linux, specifically CentOS 6. My mouse cursor didn't capture, so I'm going to put these arrows on the links that I'm clicking. So from the Nginx homepage, I'm going to the downloads and then the stable version to get the repository uh, package so that I can install from the Nginx repository. With the URL to the package, I'll paste it in to an SSH connection I have to my Linux box and I'll download that RPM and then install it. With that installed, I can now install the full Nginx stable distribution from the Nginx servers, and that will come down with all of the init script and everything needed. This is what I recommend doing, installing the full uh, package from Nginx and then grabbing the source and compiling just the binary. Okay, now back on the Nginx main download page, I'll grab the tarball for the current stable version. And I'm now logged in as a normal user, not root. And I'm going to make a projects directory and then download that tarball and uh, expand it here. I'm now going to run the configure script with the dash dash help option to see what are all the available uh, configuration settings. And then I'm going to run the dash capital V on the distribution binary and see how that one was compiled. You can see at the end of that list of all the configuration options that were used for that when it was built. Um, there are a lot of flags that are specific to my, my platform that I don't really have a lot of, of uh, knowledge about. So I'm going to take those, copy what is in that set, paste it into an editor, and make my own script so that I can uh, execute re repeatedly the configuration options for my environment. Before I can compile Nginx, I need to go over to the EPEL site and grab the uh, repository configuration package so that I can get the GOIP stuff. So I'll grab that RPM and install it. I'm back on root now on my console. And now I can install everything that I need in order to compile Nginx. I need GCC obviously and I need the Pro Compatible Regular Expressions library. I need OpenSSL development. And then the GOIP uh, that I uh, am now able to get through the EPEL repository. That'll download and install, and then finally I'll be able to compile. Okay, I'm back logged in as my regular user account, go into Projects, Nginx, and in a uh, text editor off screen, I have selected all of the properties that I want for my compile. And I'm just going to make a little shell script to keep track of those. So I'll paste them in here. While this is up on the screen, let me take a moment to talk about my configuration options. I've compiled with debug, so I have the ability to do debug. I want SSL, and I want the stub status module. I'm going to use AIO because it's supported here. And I'm adding the GOIP filter, 
and I'm disabling the features that I don't use, fast CGI, and so forth. So now I'll save it and I'll be ready to configure and then compile. Remember, I just want to run make, not make install. I'm logged in as a regular user anyway as I'm building, so the install wouldn't work unless I use sudo. But um, I just wanted to mention that. I just want to build it, and then I'm going to move the binary once it's done. Okay, it's finished and its compiled objects are in the obj directory. And you can see the nginx binary there, it's uh, quite large. It's because I didn't uh, do the stripping with the, to remove the extra symbols. I'm not a C expert, so um, I'm not going to take that step. Back as the root user, I'm going to cd into user sbin and move out of the way the nginx version that came with the distribution and I'm going to copy the one I just built and I'm going to call it dot custom to differentiate it from the distribution and then I'm going to create a symbolic link to that custom version um, so that anytime I want I can switch back and forth and now I'll just try starting it up. I haven't changed anything in the configuration file. We'll just see if it see if it works. So far so good. I'll use netcat to send a basic request and see what I get. Yay. Thanks for watching.